Wow, look at her. She's great. What a great Christian she is. God is coming back soon and he's not looking on your Instagram. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jessica B. I am Jessica. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, today's video is going to be about being a fake. It's a bit of a ramble, I'm not gonna lie. You're probably thinking like, oh, she's gonna be like, okay, this is what you have to do not to be fake. This is what you're gonna be to do, fake. It's just basically kind of like a talk about, you know, the struggle to keep up the appearances for the sake of it. Especially like being a Christian woman, Christian girl. In 2016, it's pretty hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you've got Instagram, you've got Snapchat, you've got Twitter, like, but really, who uses Twitter? Like, you've got all these social platforms and networks and stuff, keeping up appearances and being like that Christian girl. You know, posting those Instagram pictures of you and your Bible, you know, devotion time or time with Bay, aka God. It's very easy to get caught up in that and just go along with things, you know what I mean? And then, like, forget where you are and who you should really be impressing basically i've been going through that recently so that's why i'm doing this video just just so you know that it's not just you i'm going through it too you think just because you're posting all these scriptures and all these little quotes that you know you are the best christian everyone's gonna be like wow look at her she's great what a great christian she is thank you lord for this great christian because you and only you know what you're like in the secret place and ultimately god knows like god's not dumb he knows what you're really like so there's no point trying to fool yourself and you know trying to convince others that you're like the ultimate Christian you can fool everyone like you can fool everyone on insta to make them think you're you're this and you're that and like for me like putting scriptures in my main bit and uploading a selfie and then putting a scripture like really what has that got to do with anything and we all do it there's no need to pretend last year 2015 was really bad like i wasn't praying i wasn't reading my bible i wasn't doing all the things that i should do but yet like i was still on a platform where i need to be an example and i'm going to be accountable you need to remember like to work on the inner self like when god chose david to fight goliath and everything he wasn't looking at the brothers because they were looking all you know hunky and everything he was looking for david because of his heart and what was inside especially when like especially girls trying to find that guy you know he's gonna find out that all this charades that you've been putting out there on the internet it's not really you when you get down to the nitty gritty like you've got to oh, you've got to just build on your inner self remember and stop stunting basically because it's draining and i done it so much to the point where it's like every night when i was praying i was like god just like oh, i'm exhausted from trying to be someone that i'm not like, when i when i do these videos and i'm talking to myself and sometimes i feel like that i feel like I'm not really where I should be and I, I go around, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, yeah, but I, am I living the way I sh you know, the way quite Christ should require me to live? Like, I think the title Christian, literally just everyone, like, everyone is a Christian these days, let's be real, like, even all the prime ministers and all that, they're all Christian, like, it doesn't take a lot to be a Christian these days. Saved and unsaved, being fake doesn't help because someone will find out the real you and it will crush you and, you know, you're having to put up buying things, doing the stuff, you know, doing, like my husband says, doing things for Snapchat. Like you posting a picture of your Bible, what does that really show? Like, for all we know, you could have just closed that and dashed it to the side. Everyone goes through it, that stage in your salvation where you're just like, what am I doing? <laughs> really and truly, what am I doing? You just forget like god literally you're a christian but you haven't got the christ <laughs> like that's kind of where i've been the last couple of months like how can i be a christian and not be praying how can i be a christian and not be reading my bible like these are fundamentals like we just get caught up in the social media version of being a christian and we forget like what we actually need to be talking about like if you're not on point like if you're not the bee's knees <laughs> you're not where you should be you need to just look at yourself and say you are not where you need to be get your mirror you are not where you need to be and god is coming back soon and he's not looking on your instagram to get you into heaven he's looking at you on the inside anyone can stunt on social media i can stunt you can stunt we can't stunt our way into heaven like god sees through it all like we we try to like run away like god can't see me <laughs> he can't see you he can't see me i'm 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 a big culprit of it too like mate do i ever post anything about christ on my social media no 
all I'm doing is promoting my videos, my videos. So I need to fix up too. Like it's not just, I'm not bashing anyone. I hope you're blessed by this video. I hope you got like what I'm trying to say. But anyways guys, be blessed by this. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. You know, giving me this ability to talk. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> No offence if your name is Holly, but I don't really think it suits me.